Hello, my name is Krista Kay from the Boys and Girls Clubs of Metro Los Angeles. Today, for our literacy program, we'll be working on word searches. Let's get started. For this week's activity, we'll be focusing on Earth Day. To celebrate Earth Day, go ahead and complete the worksheet provided. Then, time yourself and see how long it takes. After you complete that worksheet, then we'll get together and I'll show you how to make your own. All right, are you ready? All you're gonna need is paper, pen or pencil, and then a ruler. If you don't have a ruler, you can use any item that has a straight edge. I'll be using a cardboard box. Here we go. All right, so I'm gonna start off drawing about 10 to maybe 12 lines using this cardboard box. Again, if you don't have a ruler, you can use any item around you that has a straight edge. Now I'm gonna flip my paper and do the exact same thing, but with the lines going the opposite direction. At this time, you should be making squares. Once you complete drawing your horizontal and vertical lines across your paper, it should look a little something like this. Now this is the fun part, and also my favorite part. Use this time to come up with 10 or more words, depending on how many squares you drew, that you will use to put into your word search. I'm using Earth Day as an example. Feel free to choose any other theme for your word search. Alright, this next part is also my favorite part. Using the words you wrote below, go ahead and fill them in any way you want up in your word search. It could be backwards, forwards, diagonal, slanted, totally up to you. Be creative, just make sure all your words fit up there. Once you put all your words up in your word search, fill in the empty squares with random letters. Make sure you fill in every single square. All right, we're almost at the end. Now use this time to decorate the margins of your word search. Like I said, I'm using Earth Day as an example for my theme, but feel free to choose a different theme. So if you were to do sports, you can draw soccer balls, basketballs, favorite food, you can draw different types of food. If you're gonna do animals, you can draw different animals. Again, totally up to you. Once you've finished making your word search, give it to a parent, guardian, sibling, or friend to solve. Now that you know how to create your own word search, how many can you make? Try making themed ones. Do you have a favorite sport? Favorite colors? Favorite food? Favorite animals? Favorite video game? The list goes on. After you make your word searches, go ahead and give them to a parent, guardian, sibling, friend, and see how long it takes them to solve it. By now, you should be a professional word search maker. This is Krista Kay coming to you from our eClub platform. We hope to see you again very soon. Bye!